And joining me now is Democratic Congressman Tom Malinowski of New Jersey. He serves on the House Foreign Affairs and Homeland Security Committees. He has traveled to Ukraine a few weeks ago as a part of a bipartisan delegation where he met with President Zelensky. He also attended the Munich Security Conference. Um, all right, sir, just your reaction to these latest moves by Russia and also if, in your opinion, this is an invasion. Well, thank you so much. I, my, my first reaction is that the, the mask is totally off of Putin. In, in case anyone had any doubts, this is not, nothing to do with NATO expansion. Uh, it has everything to do with his belief that, that Ukraine has no right to exist as an independent country. That the very existence of Ukraine is offensive to him and he wants to extinguish it. So we need to be clear about that and we need to understand why it's important to the United States not to allow uh, powerful dictators to, to be able to um, seize other countries with, without consequence. Um, is it an invasion? Yeah, it, he's, he's moving his troops into sovereign Ukrainian territory. And I think one of the things he wants right now is for the United States and our allies to spend the next few days debating definitions. Um, is this a small invasion, a big invasion? Is it an invasion at all? So that once again, uh, we're divided and it's gonna be really important for that not to happen, for us to make sure that doesn't happen over the next coming days, that we have a swift and united response. So we're hearing from American allies, this is an invasion. The Biden administration, even though it ahead of this invasion, define an invasion is what we're seeing right now. They have not said it's an invasion. Um, is, is that sort of what you're gently saying, that they need to just be frank and, and forthcoming about what this is? Or am I reading you incorrectly? Yeah, I think we need to use clear language. I, look, I, the, the, uh, the strength of our response also depends on being well coordinated with all of our allies. And so I, you know, it's not just what Joe Biden says, it's what Joe Biden can get everybody else to say in one voice. And that sometimes does take a few hours or, or a day or so to be able uh, to, 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 to build that kind of unity. Look, I think the administration has done an amazingly good job building a coalition to respond to this kind of moment. It's so much better than in 2014 when Russia first invaded Ukraine, we were reacting. In this case, uh, the coalition is ready. The sanctions are ready. In effect, Joe Biden has built a prison for Putin before the crime was committed. Um, and, you know, if it takes 24 hours or so to get uh, get everybody in line for the next step, that's OK. But the next step does have to come. Russia has been unclear on whether they are going to consider this area outside of the territory that Russian backed separatists hold if they consider that in effect theirs. Do you expect Russia to proceed beyond that border of what Russian backed separatists control? Well, they've been pretty clear that they consider it theirs. Uh, what they plan to do next, I, I don't know. Uh, Putin wants to keep us off balance. He wants us to continue to play this guessing game. I, I think he probably wants his own officials to stay off balance. I don't think uh, Russian Foreign Minister Lavrov, for example, has any idea what's going to come next, which uh, I think may be a good argument for Secretary Blinken not to carry on with this meeting. Uh, uh, um, but certainly they have said that the so-called independent state uh, as encompassing large areas that are under the control of the Ukrainian government and army. So if they uh, if they're serious about that, then then that does mean there will be a war. What would deter Putin, do you think, at this point? Really anything? That's that's a really good question. Like so, some people will argue we should not impose all of the sanctions now because then we have nothing left to deter him with. I'm not sure if he's in a rational frame of mind after having watched that speech that he gave yesterday. Uh, I think we're probably um, we're, we're more in a phase right now where the purpose of the sanctions is to weaken Russia's capacity to carry on with uh, with this aggression and ultimately to 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 weaken this this regime rather than deterring whatever crazy thing he may do on Thursday or on Monday. Well, Congressman, but it's not an easy call. 
No, it, no, it certainly is not. Congressman, really appreciate you being with us. Congressman Tom Malinowski, thanks.